This pandemic has shaken up the status quo and laid bare a lot of our country's deep-seated problems, from massive economic inequality to ongoing racial disparities to a lack of basic health care for people who need it. It's woken a lot of young people up to the fact that the old ways of doing things just don't work. That it doesn't matter how much money you make if everyone around you is hungry and sick. And that our society and our democracy only work when we think not just about ourselves, but about each other. It's also pulled the curtain back on another hard truth. Something that we all have to eventually accept once our childhood comes to an end. You know, all those adults that you used to think were in charge and knew what they were doing? Turns out they don't have all the answers. A lot of them aren't even asking the right questions. So if the world's going to get better, it's going to be up to you. That realization may be kind of intimidating, but I hope it's also inspiring. With all the challenges this country faces right now, nobody can tell you, no, you're too young to understand, or this is how it's always been done. Because with so much uncertainty, with everything suddenly up for grabs, this is your generation's world to shape. Since I'm one of the old guys, I won't tell you what to do with this power that rests in your hands, but I'll leave you with three quick pieces of advice. First, don't be afraid. America's gone through tough times before. Slavery, civil war, famine, disease, the Great Depression, and 9-11. And each time, we came out stronger. Usually because a new generation, young people like you, learned from past mistakes and figured out how to make things better. Second, do what you think is right. Doing what feels good, what's convenient, what's easy, that's how little kids think. Unfortunately, a lot of so-called grown-ups, including some with fancy titles and important jobs, still think that way, which is why things are so screwed up. I hope that instead you decide to ground yourself in values that last, like honesty, hard work, responsibility, fairness, generosity, respect for others. You won't get it right every time. You'll make mistakes like we all do. But if you listen to the truth that's inside yourself, even when it's hard, even when it's inconvenient, people will notice. They'll gravitate towards you. And you'll be part of the solution instead of part of the problem. And finally, build a community. No one does big things by themselves. Right now, when people are scared, it's easy to be cynical and say, let me just look out for myself or my family or people who look or think or pray like me. But if we're going to get through these difficult times, if we're going to create a world where everybody has opportunity to find a job and afford college, if we're going to save the environment and defeat future pandemics, then we're going to have to do it together. So be alive to one another's struggles. Stand up for one another's rights. Leave behind all the old ways of thinking that divide us. Sexism, racial prejudice, status, greed. And set the world on a different path. When you need help, Michelle and I have made it the mission of our foundation to give young people like you the skills and support to lead in your own communities and to connect you with other young leaders around the country and around the globe. But the truth is, you don't need us to tell you what to do. Because in so many ways, you've already started to lead. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Keep making us proud.